Hi there, this is Daniel and Andrea. We're taking another day trip today. This time it is to see sturgeon spawning in Shawano, Wisconsin. This first stop is in Kashina on the way and uh, the water level is high. The waterfalls are running rapidly. And so I hope you enjoy these uh, photos and videos of Kashina Falls. It's a little muddy here, but we're just walking further down a ways to get a better view of the falls. Uh, it's a little rough here, but here it's all here it's all muddy. But 
it's a favorite time of the year to go look for falls. That's when the water's running the highest and, and running the most rapidly. So here's a view from over here. So it's actually two sections here. And then on the other side, under the bridge. And again, this is called Kashina Falls. walking a little further <laughs> don't want to walk there There's actually a third, third falls on the other side here, right there. And that's close to another parking lot area. So we'll keep on walking. This is really wet. Oh. Ah. Okay, we'll walk on these oh, on these oh, oh, on these boards. Oh, shoot. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, it's better here. I don't know if this was a game at one time. Yeah, this is this is called the Wolf River. We're following it down this way. 
down a road to see the bridge is supposed to be coming up there. I don't know how far that, north they come. See that parking lot area? There's a I think we'll go over there next. one car parked there. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll drive over there to see what we can see from there. We walked up the hill and so we got to the top of this dam holding, well here's the river on, the, on this part. And then you can see the, that river coming and it joins with that one in the background. So now we'll just be walking back on this pathway here. My, my hands are really cold. It's only, it's not even 40 degrees yet this morning, but it's nice. The sun is out, the birds are singing and it's a nice day otherwise. So we'll be leaving here and continuing on to Shano. We arrived at Sturgeon Park and some people told us where to go to see them spawning.
really a clear view of their entire length, but we're just seeing fins coming up. Uh, somebody said there's about 10 of them down here. Oh, look at all the fins there. Oh my in Shano, we thought we would be seeing uh, more sturgeon than we see here in these pictures. Um, so we decided to go to Shyocton after meeting a couple from that area who said there are so many more in Shyocton. So we got in the car and, and drove there. It was another 28 miles from here, but uh, those pictures and videos will be coming up on here. Sturgeon can live to be over a hundred years old. It's not unusual to find one six feet long and 200 pounds. In 2012, a female sturgeon caught on Lake Winnebago in Wisconsin measured more than seven feet, three inches long and weighed 240 pounds. There is a website, dnr.wisconsin.gov, that gives updates on where to view the sturgeon. Today, April 27th, and tomorrow, April 28th, the DNR were tagging sturgeons, and this is so that they can see exactly where they go, and I read someplace that it also helps with the Wisconsin Corps of Engineers so that they do not do any dredging where sturgeons are most active. So this is uh, the procedure that you're seeing here. And uh, so somebody is capturing them, bringing them up. They're laying them out on a board to measure them. They check to see whether they're a male or female and they can tell whether they've been tagged in previous years or whether they need to be tagged and then quickly released.